Hi everyone, it's uh, Joy Nelson, Stamp with Joy Nelson, and um, I am here to show you a um, card with the Dove of Hope stamp set and the detailed Dove dies. So I just wanted to um, get on here, and first I want to say that um, there have been some absolutely wonderful projects that have been shown so far. So if you're if you're on, you know, give me a give me a little hello, a little thumbs up, something. So, um, so there are many demonstrators around the globe who are doing this together. So be sure that if you want to order anything, you order from your demonstrator that has invited you, and um, contact them also for the show special, which is free a free DSP share with um, a, the minimum order that is for your area. So let's get started. Um, hi, hello, Rose. Hi, Terry. Hi, Shirley. Um, so this is the card we'll be making. This is a slimline card. I've done it in the, um, vertical, um, orientation. And I have done mine, um, so that it can be universal. So it doesn't matter, uh, which country you are, you will be, you should be able to use these same um, dimensions. It is slightly, uh, slightly less, um, slightly shorter this direction for a um, size nine envelope in uh, the U.S. and I think it's slightly shorter um, the other direction. You're slightly less wide for a DL that's international, but um, it um, will fit. And either, or you can make your own envelope, which is always very pretty to make your envelopes out of our designer series paper. So let's get started. First, you will need a card base. Uh, I have used the Balmy Blue. You can use whatever you have um, on hand and uh, whatever stamp set you have on hand. So the balmy blue is eight and a quarter inches this direction and seven and a half inches this direction, which is uh, 21 centimeters and 19 centimeters. I have also scored it down the middle, which is three and three fourths inches or nine and a half centimeters. So that's the card base that we will be using. You also need some pieces of Whisper White. Um, this piece for the front of my card is um, three and a half inches or 8.9 centimeters by four and a quarter inches, which is 10.8 centimeters. Um, that's for the outside of my card. The inside of my card will have a piece that is three and a half inches or 8.9 centimeters by six and a quarter inches or 16 centimeters. And then you will also need um, some more to do some stamping um, and then die cutting on. So let's get busy. I think I'm going to do some stamping first. So I'm going to take this um, uh, wide spring dove, what, the um, wide winged dove image from this set and the balmy blue ink. Let's see. And we'll give that a good amount there. I'm going to stamp that on our piece of paper that we will, that you would die cut later. also going to be using mint macaron and the um, holly branch image from the set. I'm going to do that two times. And the wonderful thing about die cutting is if you get a little stamping garbage on there, it won't show once you die cut it. 
So two of those. And I'm not going to do my die cutting on camera because to save time, I have already die cut some pieces that I will be using. So we also need to stamp in the real red a um, greeting sentiment. This one is from the stamp set. It says, may your season be filled with all the wonder and blessings of Christmas. And that is going to go kind of in this, the lower left part of this three and a half inch by four and a half inch piece of Whisper White. So, set that aside. Now, I think I'll go ahead and just get all my stamping done at once. So, on the inside piece, I need the Balmy Blue ink again. And the other Dove with the um, holly branch in its beak. And I'm gonna kind of put that about right there on the upper right corner of the three and a half inch by six and a quarter inch piece of cardstock. Oh, I don't, well, I close that one up. I'll have to open it back up again. Oh dear. Well, I just smeared the one I just made, so I will stamp that again. It's good that paper has two sides, but while I'm working on the inside, I'll go ahead and do this little sentiment, which is, and hope in your heart, which is a continuation of what we just did on the front of our card. And let's see, set that aside. While I've got the red out, I guess I'll go ahead and restamp that front greeting because I smeared it good. So that is why it is great that paper has two sides. I'm sure none of the rest of you have stamped something and then smeared it in the process of making it. So anyway, hi, hi, Ka hi, Kathy, um, hi, Gina, hi, Tracy, hi, Angie. Um, so yeah, the Swimline cards, this is my first one I've actually made, and I, I think I really like it. So now I have one more piece of stamping I have to do to complete my stamping for this card. Do the Peace, Joy, Love from the same set. I'm gonna do it down just a little bit lower in the balmy blue ink. Straight up, beautiful. So these can be set aside to dry a little bit more while we work on the rest of our card. So now, I am going to get my pieces that I've already trimmed of my designer series paper. I did use the Snowflake Splendor and this particular sheet, which um, has all these subtle um, pool party and white snowflakes on it. So I have cut two pieces at three and a half inches or 8.9 centimeters by two inches, which is five centimeters, and two pieces at three and a half inches or 8.9 centimeters um, by one inch or 2.5 centimeters. And I've also cut some strips of the balmy blue glitter paper. Let me bring in a little bit bigger piece of this so you can see the beautiful shine that this gives. This is just gorgeous, gorgeous paper and lovely for accents on um, our holiday cards. 
So these strips are three and a half inches or 8.9 centimeters by 3 8 inch or one centimeter. And I'm also going to bring in and use some of my Tombow uh, multi-liquid glue because I need something that's um, a little bit forgiving to start with, but it's going to be very strong once it dries. So I kind of tried to line up, which direction did it go? There we go. Line up my images so that my tops and bottoms matched. I think it goes this way, yes. There we go. So this one is going to go on this edge of this piece of designer series paper. I love my DSP. It looks so, it just gives such a wonderful touch. And good news is the show special is if you do the minimum order for your area with your demonstrator, you will get um, some of some designer series paper. So it's a share of designer series paper. So um, it is going to be not the entire 12 by 12 pack, but enough to make several cards with. more glue. I know, I hope you guys, if you're making this along, that you have time to glue this along with me. Hi, Teal. Thanks for joining today. So, I will go back and um, look at some of your comments again at the end and make sure that I answer any of the questions that you might have. Hi Kim, thanks for joining us. So, that is gonna need a little bit of time to dry just a little bit. So maybe I just need to set those aside for a second. I don't think I need my multi-purpose glue anymore, so I'll put that away. Now I'm going to bring out the piece that we stamped for the front, for our card front. And what I did to make sure that this was centered is I took my ruler and a pencil and I did a little mark at two inches from the top and two inches from the bottom. I'll do that on the inside, I'll do one inch. so that I know where to put my, my white pieces for the front. Yeah, see, I got that re a really good smear on that. So I am really happy that I can just flip it over and do the back side and still have my card look great. So taking my stamp and seal, putting some strips of these, the tape runner on the back makes it quick and easy I'm leaving a, a just a little bit of a border around and I can go ahead and attach the inside as well while I've got my seal handy stamp and seal line it up top and bottom with those little 
pencil marks that I made. I'm not going to worry about erasing them because they will get covered up once I add my designer series paper and my glimmer paper. Okay, these pieces should be dry enough now. I'll attach those. Oh, the two inch or 8.9 centimeter pieces on the front top and bottom. Again, leaving just a little bit of that blue, balmy blue card base border. If it, stop, if it doesn't work, just give it a little nudge with your finger and everything is good. It runs smoothly again. So that glimmer paper with the designer series paper just, oh, just really looks beautiful. Right, let's go ahead and do the inside while I'm on this step. Uh -oh. oh, hey, hi, Leona. Thanks for joining. I hope you you know, have fun watching my video and learn a little something that you didn't already know. And if you missed the beginning, um, you can always go back and watch, watch on replay, which is what I am going to need to do on some of the wonderful other demonstrators that have presented today. Um, I will have to go back and watch their demonstrations. I'm looking forward to it. So now let's finish the outside with our die cut um, pieces of the dove and the two holly branches. Now one of my holly branches is going to overlap the other one. And again, I love dimensionals. I'm using the mini dimensionals. I like to pop things up. Oh, I think I need another one. That one I'll put on the back of my dove. So this piece should overlap just a little bit onto this other piece. So let me see. I'm trying to match up what I did before because that came out just perfectly in the end. There we go. Well, that's matched up. Finished putting dimensionals on the back of this dove. So, how many of you like dimensionals as much as I do? <laughs> yes, I'm so, 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 so happy that paper has two sides. Thanks. <laughs> oh, um, got a comment about that from Tracy. We are all, all of us avid star, you know, card makers are just very happy that uh, it has two sides. Um, yeah, I don't think I need any on there. So now I'm going to peel off my paper and line this up so that it kind of comes down like so. And then I'm going to put this dove on the top of these pieces. Sometimes I feel like I need, you know, game show music 
um, like on the on Jeopardy when I get quiet when I'm focusing on doing something on these cards. Get that dove just the way I want him. There now, all that's left is to do the bling. So I'm bringing in some of the red rhinestone basic jewels and then the adhesive back snowflakes. So they're, they're, if you notice, they're kind of two different shades. So I wanted the, the ones that were a little more of the blue and green tones. I'm going to bring in my take your pick tool with the spatula end. We're going to put a bunch of these rhinestones because, you know, um, holiday cards, Christmas cards need a lot of bling and glitz in my opinion. My husband, it doesn't care so much for the glitter because he says glitter just gets everywhere and, uh, you know, you're picking it up for years afterwards. So, get all these little berries are getting a, a red rhinestone jewel. And this way, I didn't really need to do any coloring by doing it like this. So, I like that part of it. Now I'm going to add a lot, a lot of these snowflakes. So just kind of, I try to add odd numbers um, whenever possible because odd numbers tend to, your eye tends to um, appreciate those more. Where should I put this other one? I'm just not sure. Maybe right here. Put some up at the top. In the center of some of these snowflakes. Yeah, I don't know if that one is going to look right right there. So maybe up here we, yes we did we used to cut all of our um, dimensionals in half to make them last last longer and now we have the mini dimensionals which are just the right size and there's a whole lot of them on that sheet okay that one doesn't want to get got right now I'm going to go in and I'm going to put three more. So I've got three down here, three up here. So I'll have a total of nine when I'm finished. And some on the white part as well. Has that one got a sticky on it? I think it does. All right, so there we go. That is my finished slimline card that, um, like I said, you can either make your own envelope or just, you know, use an office size envelope, you know, which is what I tend to do and maybe give it a little stamp. I think I saw um, Terry, one of our other presenters, put a little stamp on her office envelope. So there we go, the inside and the outside. So anyway, again, I want to remind you that um, we have a show special going. Oh, thank you. Um, a show special going, which is you get a share of um, designer series paper with um, the minimum order that is for your area. So be sure to contact the demonstrator who invited you and order from them and find out all of the details of the show special. 
and you will be getting a share of some designer series paper that will um, fit some some card bases that uh, you will be making. So I am so happy that, and um, I think I am the last presenter of the day. So I hope all of you have really been watching um, either all or some of the um, great presenters that we have had today. There is, you know, so many talented, talented demonstrators in this group. And we love doing these demonstrations for, for, for you. And uh, we're so happy that you join us. And we hope that we teach you something new and uh, that you enjoy them. So until uh, next time, talk to you soon. Bye.